Maisie, how do you feel about today? Um, I'm quite nervous but I'm alright about doing it. Lauren, um, you've been here before and last year you came third. How are you feeling about today? Um, not very nervous, just excited. You've been here lots of times before. What does it mean to you for being here this year? This year's quite different because I'm here with a different breed and not my own dog. So it's different and it's strange at the same time. I'm really excited. Right, Bethany, lovely outfit. <coughs> How have you prepared for this final today? I've tr like, tried to keep it relaxed and it's all good to stop. <laughs> it's not my dog, so I've tried to practice it well. Sophie, is it okay to have a chat? Yeah. Yeah. So, Sophie, you are last year's overall winner and you represented the UK at Crafts. Um, how was that for you and, and what's it like being back again as the um, former winner? It was amazing to be there, but being back is like, I don't know, it's amazing to be back and just enjoying it is what I'm doing today with a different dog. Lovely. Amelia, you've, it's your first time yeah. to the Junior Hand of the Year. Yeah. What are you thinking so far of the event? really scary but you're looking forward to it yeah. right young Emily you literally are one of the smallest as well yeah. aren't you yes. but you're not the youngest but are you nine ten ten and it's your first time at the final isn't it tell us about the dog you're handling uh, my dog's ten months uh, she's called Belle and we bred her at home fantastic and what do you think of the whole competition so far uh, it's really big and it's quite amazing very good. Georgia, can I have a word? Uh, you've been here before, you were runner up a couple of years ago. And tell us about that experience. It was really good, yeah. It's nice to be here, like, because it's obviously, it was at Earth's Conference, so it's yeah. different. <laughs> yeah, and um, is it your last year competing in the final? Yeah, well, very best of luck. Thank you. And Stevie Lou, you've been here before, yeah. but with a different breed as well. Yeah, an English pointer. Yeah, and you've come and travelled from, tell us about like your home life and where you've come from. Uh, I'm from Maidstone in Kent. What are you handling today? Uh, a small coach bar. Yeah, and what do you think about the whole setup here? Yeah, it's really nice. I was here last year, but uh, very privileged to be here again. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> right, so guys, um, very best of luck. Thank Enjoy you. yourselves. You. Big smiles and, well, we'll see you in there. Big clap, big clap. Good morning everybody and welcome to Discover Dogs 2017 in London. <laughs> the Junior Handling Association or JHA has been running the competition since the 1970s and it is the most established and prestigious junior handling event in the UK. The overall winner of today's final will represent the UK in the International Junior Handler of the Year event at Crufts next March. Today, the final is made up of 14 competitors, all who have won through from six semi-final heats since December last year. But before we meet all our lovely competitors, we need to meet our judge. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the judge for today's UK Hand of the Year final, Lisa Meyer. And she is accompanied by the JHA organizer, Mrs. Liz Cartledge. So, this is it. Please give a warm welcome and please cheer for all your finalists that now enter the ring. First, representing the utility 6 to 11 years age group, Lauren Goddard with a miniature schnauzer. From the utility 12 to 16 class, Georgia Brown with a Sharpe. Representing the toy 6 to 11 years class is Elizabeth Hodgeskin handling a Griffon Bruxellois. From the 12 to 16 year toy age class, Stevie Lou Norley with a smooth coat chihuahua. Representing the 6 to 11 years age group, Lauren Bridges with a soft coated Wheaton Terrier. From the 12 to 16 year Terrier age class, Abby Webb with a Border Terrier. Representing the 6 to 11 years pastoral age group, Emily Moores handling a Shetland Sheepdog. From the 12 to 16 years pastoral age group, Robin Arnold with an Australian Shepherd. <laughs> Representing the working 6 to 11 years age group, Charlie Louise Quick handling a Doberman. From the tw 12 to 16 years working class, Min Withyman with a Rottweiler. 
Representing the Hound, 6 to 11 years age group, Maisie Allenby, handling an Ibethan Hound. From the 12 to 16 years Hound category, Sophie Wildig with a Norwegian Elk Hound. Representing the Gun Dog, 6 to 11 years age group, Amelia Tatum with a Bracco Italiano. And finally, from the Gun Dog, 12 to 16 years age group, Chloe McDonald, handling a Hungarian Vizsla. So this is part one of the competition, with part two taking place at quarter to one this afternoon. Our judge will assess each handler individually this morning before choosing six handlers to go through to part two. So first up to be individually assessed is Lauren Goddard. Lauren is 12 years old and handling a miniature schnauzer. This is Bertie and he is four years old. Bertie is owned by Andrea and Lucy Dixon. Lucy Dixon, a former winner of this competition herself. She first met Bertie under a year ago and she says she's very grateful to Andrea and Lucy for letting her borrow him. Lauren is from Haywards Heath in West Sussex and she attends Oats Hall Community College in Haywards Heath. She has eight dogs and four horses at home. That will keep her busy. And she trains and shows all of her own dogs. She says dog showing is a huge part of her life, but when she's not showing the dogs, she's either riding her horses, and she recently showed her pony at Hickstead, which she said was amazing. She also loves sports at school, especially hockey. So our judge today, Lisa Moyer, will assess each handler individually and is asking each competitor to do a triangle and up and down. It's important that the juniors have the dog at the correct pace and show them in the correct breed style. So ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our first competitor, Lauren Goddard. So this is our second competitor, this is Georgia Brown. She represents the utility 12 to 16 years age group. She's 17 years old, she qualified when she was 16. And she's handling a Sharpe called Toasty. And Toasty is nearly two years old. Toasty doesn't belong to her, but when she was a puppy, she did quite a lot of training with her. And she's since competed at a few shows with her, including the semi-final at Booba, which was back in December. She has just completed a year's apprenticeship at a children's nursery. But she hopes to go on to a career with dogs in the future. She has five dogs at home, mainly gun dog breeds. She has three Cocker Spaniels, an English Springer Spaniel and an Irish Water Spaniel. She also shows another English Springer Spaniel who belongs to a very close family friend and has been lucky enough to have lots of success with him. She also competes in breed showing, obedience and rally which is a new canine activity that was set up by the Kennel Club a few years ago and has become very popular. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please put your hands together for Georgia Brown. Next on the table, 
and representing the Toy 6 to 11 years age group is Elizabeth Hodgkinson. She's from Chesterfield and she's 11 years old. She's handling Teddy, a Griffon Bruxelwa. And Teddy is two. And she attends St. Mary's Catholic High School and she's in year seven. We used to see Elizabeth with Spanish water dogs and she has five of this breed at home. Also a Labrador and a Chihuahua. So a lovely mix of breeds. And she also does obedience with her Labrador. It's always nice to know what these handlers get up to in their spare time. And she plays football for Chesterfield ladies team. And she says that does take up a lot of her free time. She loves helping her mum with the Spanish water dogs, especially when they have puppies. I don't blame her. It's a big ring for a little dog. But Teddy's taken it all in his stride. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's Elizabeth Hodgkinson. From one table breed to another, this is Stevie Lou Norley. She's from Maidstone in Kent and is 13 years old. She's handling one of the smallest breeds in the world. This is a smooth coat chihuahua called Tinks. And Tinks is five years old. For those of you who don't watch junior handling competitions regularly, you might see the judge talking to the handler quite a lot. She'll be asking the handlers to show the teeth on the dog and asking for the pattern work. So if you see her talking to her, that's what she's doing. So Stevie Lou Norley has been working with Tinks for a few years. And Stevie Lou's really lucky, she has a home education. So gets to spend a lot of time with her family, which is lovely. She has one long coat chihuahua and two smooth coats and a Pomeranian. She says she took part in the Good Citizen Dog Scheme a few years ago and passed all of her tests within one year. There's lots of lovely demonstrations here at Discover Dogs of the Good Citizen Dog Scheme, so please go over to the training wings and see what they get up to there. She loves going to ring crafts, stewarding and walking and handling dogs. And she's made lots of lovely friends through showing and some unforgettable memories and lovely moments she will treasure for a lifetime. I'm sure one of these, those lovely moments will be today. So put your hands together for Stevie Lou Norley. So our fifth finalist here at the UK Junior Handler of the Year competition is Lauren Bridges. She's 10 years old and she's from Derby. She's handling a two-year-old soft-coated Wheaton Terrier with a fabulous name called John. And I think he's named after the Game of Thrones star, Jon Snow. This is actually her first time handling John. The dog she qualified with was a veteran and he was starting to slow up in the last couple of months. So she took the risk of taking a new dog to the final today. Lauren is from Aston-on-Trent. She goes to Aston-on-Trent Primary School. 
And at home, she has dogs, cats, and another one who has a pony. She enjoys showing, grooming, and she's even starting a little bit of agility. She says she just loves spending time with all the animals and riding her pony. And she also does a bit of kickboxing, so you don't want to mess with Lauren. She's won three bronze medals in kickboxing in the UK championships. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Lauren Bridges. Now representing the older age group in the Terrier category, this is Abby Webb. She's from Southend in Essex and she's 14 years old. She's handling Rolo, the Border Terrier, and he is three years old. This duo met at National Terrier in April earlier this year, where she qualified. And they've been working together at a few open shows since then. She goes to King Edmund School. And at home, she has two Tibetan Terriers. And she's got some more unusual animals at home. She's got chickens, duck, and a rabbit. I can imagine that all five of those animals don't hang out together. But So Abby is also interested in grooming, obedience and agility. She competes in grooming competitions, but does the obedience and agility for a bit of fun. She belongs to a dance school and regularly performs shows for charity doing all types of dance. She also loves ice skating and performs in a local panto on ice and also loves swimming. She obviously competes in dog showing, doing breed classes, handling and grooming, and regularly attends open and championship shows, taking part in handling and breed classes with Tibetan Terriers. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Abby Webb. So on the table now, this is the pastoral six to 11 years winner. This is Emily Moores. She may well look like one of the youngest in the competition, but she actually isn't. She's 10 years old and she's from Horsham in West Sussex. She's handling a Shetland sheepdog called Belle and Belle is just nine months old. So actually, she's handling one of the youngest dogs in the competition. Emily has been handling dogs for two years and has been working with this dog for around five months. Emily goes to All Saints C of E Primary School in Horsham. And at home, she has two other Shelties called Dusty and Lacey, and a cat called Mariah. She's another handling competitor who enjoys competing in other canine activities. She competes in agility with Dusty, her Sheltie. Emily loves going to ring craft classes and she absolutely loves going to dog shows. So Emily's going to be in her element today. She also enjoys playing the piano and going away on caravan holidays. your hands together everybody for Emily Moores.
And now for the older competitor in the pastoral category, representing the 12 to 16 years class, this is Robin Arnold. Like Georgia Brown that we saw earlier with Toasty the Sharpe, she's also from Northampton. Robin is 16 years old and she's handling an Australian Shepherd called Vogue. Vogue is two years old. She's only handled Vogue a couple of times in the junior handling competitions, but she's handled her in the breed classes as well for her owner. And she's also handled her in the pastoral group at championship shows to help out the owner. She has just completed her GCSEs at the Dustin School, and she's hoping to get an apprenticeship in hairdressing. All these young ladies today are very well presented and probably could do with some help from hairdressing skills in later competitions from Robin. That would be wonderful. So Robin also takes part in agility. But in her spare time, she loves shopping and spending time with her friends. She also enjoys walking, training, and most of all, spending time with her beloved dogs. Just a little fun fact to this competition. For the second year in a row, this final is completely made up of girl handlers. Our oldest handler is 17 and the youngest is nine. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. That is Robin Arnold. So now we are seeing Charlie Louise Quick. She is 11 years old and she's from Portsmouth in Hampshire. She's handling a Doberman called Reva, who's four. The dog that she actually originally qualified with was unfortunately unable to make the finals today, so she has very been kindly offered Reva. And she's had two days training with her. Charlie Louise attends the Petersfield School Secondary School. She has Boston Terriers, a Japanese Shiba Inu, a pony, a chameleon, and a hamster at home. That must be a fun household. Now every year she likes to raise money for guide dogs for the blind, and she's actually been the highest fundraiser for two years running. Charlie Louise has been handling now for three years, and she also shows in the breed classes with her Boston Terriers and her Japanese Shiba Inu. She's another handler that likes doing horse riding and is also a member of the school choir. There's some really talented handlers here today. She loves fundraising for charities, which are very close to her heart. And if all of this doesn't sound like she's got enough to do. She also works in a groomer's at the weekends when she's not showing and in school holidays. She'd love to be a professional groomer when she's older. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Charlie Louise Quick. Another little fact for you, 10 of this year's competitors have been finalists before. So there's just four finalists here, which is their first time in this final. But now, let's look at Min Withyman. Min is 16, she's from Winchester in Hampshire. She's handling Mabel, a Rottweiler, who is two years old. This duo have been a pair for six months, And she is currently at college in her first year at Peter Simons. She has three soft coat and Wheaton Terriers and a German Shepherd.
She enjoys playing the guitar and piano, as well as collecting makeup, handbags, and shoes. Girl after my own heart. And at the minute, she's campaigning a soft-coated Wheaton Terrier from America. So very exciting times. If there's anybody watching that are not sitting down in the stands, please come and join us and sit in the stands. This is the UK Junior Handler of the Year final. It is a major, major final. The winner of this competition goes through to the international final at Crufts. This is Min Wibbyman. Now moving on to Maisie Allenby. Maisie has already been presented with a trophy this morning as she is our youngest handler today. She is eight years old and she's from Billingsley near Bridge North in Shropshire. She is handling an Abethan hound called Bandit and he is nine years old. Maisie and Bandit have been working together for around 18 months. And Maisie won through from the Hound Show, which was the semi-final in August. Maisie goes to Stotterston Primary School. Maisie and her mum show Bassett Fauve de Britannias they have several of those at home. But this is the most important pet that's at home. It's a stick insect called Stickman. Maisie's using all the ring. And this is one of the things that the judge will be looking for today. Maisie loves dog showing. She is also heavily into dancing. She loves tap, modern, and ballet. She also goes swimming regularly. She loves playing the piano and the ukulele. Perhaps after the competition, she can show us some of her skills. She also loves reading. She plays netball and golf. So, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our youngest competitor in this UK Junior Hand of the Year final, Maisie Allenby. For those of you who have just joined us around the ring, you're watching the UK Junior Hand of the Year competition. This is where the junior handlers are being judged, not their dog that they're handling. But the judge is assessing these handlers on how well they present their dog to advantage. Um, and now we're looking at Sophie Wildig. She's from Cannock, Stafford, and she's 15 years old. She's handling Travis, the Norwegian elk hound, who is two. She has owned Travis since the end of January this year. And she's at year 11 at Walton High School. At home, she has eight Affen Pinches and a Griffon Bruxelwa. Now, apart from handling and breed showing, she loves to attend the youth handling camp every year. And she does activities such as agility. She loves handling breeds from all different groups, as well as her Affen Pitches. But she also handles standard poodles, border collies, and a range of terriers.
She says to be here again in the final is a dream come true and to do it with Travis, her best friend, is a bonus. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Sophie Wildey. And now we're moving on to the second last competitor in this amazing final. This is Amelia Tatum. She's 11 years old and from Bruton. She's handling a Bracco Italiano called Sienna, who is nine. She's been working with Sienna for five years. And she attends Sexy School in Bruton. She has three dogs, one cat, one rabbit, and a pony at home. She's another handler who loves horse riding, especially cross country. That sounds like hard work. She plays the flute. And she's been doing Kung Fu since she was five years old. She really enjoys dog handling and has made some great friends through it. And in the future, she would love to judge handling and breed classes. Interesting today that just two competitors out of this lineup are handling their own dogs that actually live with them. The rest are showing dogs who are owned and or live with other people. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, put your hands together for Amelia Tatum. So this is our last competitor to be seen individually by the judge. This is Chloe McDonald, and she has definitely traveled the furthest for this final. She is from Inverurie in Aberdeenshire in Scotland. She's 16 years old, and she's handling Gio, the Hungarian Vizsla, who is three years old. She co-owns Gio, and she's been showing her for about a few years, on and off. She's still studying at school, but she works part-time at a dog groomer's. She also has an Akita and an Australian Shepherd. She loves help training her puppy to be a working dog. They also have seven Hungarian Vizslas at home. And her hobbies are dog showing, hanging out with friends, and going to dog training every Monday and Wednesday nights. So you'll see all the other competitors setting up their dogs ready for the judge in a moment because this is the last competitor. Chloe completes our lineup of 14 amazing handlers. So put your hands together for Chloe McDonald. So now our judge has the difficult decision of shortlisting this excellent lineup of handlers to just six. As I say, these handlers have qualified in their own right from semi-finals throughout the year. The six handlers that our judge chooses will then go through to part two of the competition, which will be judged in this main ring at 12.45. This is a very tense moment, I can imagine, for all the mums and dads as well. So, are we going to have a first sign list? Georgia Brown!
Lauren Bridges, Abby Webb, Robin Arnold, Min Withyman and Chloe McDonald. Can we please put our hands together and see them leave the ring, the remaining finalists. Thank you so much. Very well done for being here today. If I can ask Maisie Allenby to just return into the ring once more time. Our JHA organizer, Liz Cartledge, is going to present you again in front of everybody. I think you've done a fantastic job. You're just eight years old, but you've got a whole fantastic career in dogs ahead of you. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the youngest competitor in the competition, Maisie Allenby. And Bandit the Obethan Hound, well done. But our focus turns to our finalists. All the way around the ring, please, one more time. Georgia Brown with a sharp A. Lauren Bridges with a soft-coated Wheaton. Abby Webb with the Border Terrier. Robin Arnold with an Australian Shepherd. Min Withyman with a Rottweiler. And Chloe McDonald with a Hungarian Vizsla. My name is Liz Cartledge. Um, I'm originally from Sweden. I came over to, to England in 1967 and, and uh, got a job with Dog World. And uh, I married an English terrier man in 1971. And it's grown from, from a little thing to quite a big thing. So that we are now in a national final here at Excel in 2017. Quite incredible. Building up from a qualifier with a, with a junior that perhaps has very little experience and they gain experience as they go and to come to London to compete is it's quite a, an achievement for them and they also get, if you look in the catalogue, they get more prize money than a dog that wins best in show at crafts. You know, it, it's, uh, it's worth coming for the money as well as the honour and the trophies. And now here are the top six finalists from this morning's judging. Please give them all a big cheer. First of all, it's Georgia Brown. Lauren Bridges. Abby Webb. Robin Arnold. Min Withyman. And Chloe McDonald. As you can see, all of these handlers are handling a Norwegian Buhund. So first of all, we have Georgia Brown. She's 17 years old. She's from Greens Norton in Northamptonshire. We saw her this morning with a Sharpay. Now she's handling a black Buhund. She's just completed a year's apprenticeship at a children's nursery and she hopes to go on a career with dogs in the future. She has five dogs at home. Gun Dogs is her main group. She has three Cocker Spaniels, an English Springer Spaniel and an Irish Water Spaniel. She competes in breed showing and obedience and rally competition. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our first finalist. This is Georgia Brown. Next up, we have Lauren Bridges. She's from Derby and she's 10 years old. This morning, she was handling a soft-coated Wheaton Terrier. Now she gets the chance to handle a Buhund. She goes to Aston on Trent Primary School. And at home, she has dogs, cats, and a pony. She enjoys showing, grooming, and she has started a little bit of agility. She loves spending time with animals and riding her pony. In her spare time, she also competes in kickboxing and she's won three bronze medals in UK championships. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's Lauren Bridges.
now we have Abby Webb. She's from South End in Essex. She's 14 years old. This morning she was handling a border terrier, which was a table dog. The Norwegian Buhund is obviously a floor dog. It's always assessed on the floor. At home she has two Tibetan terriers, chickens, a duck, and a rabbit. She competes in grooming, and she also does a bit of fun obedience and agility. Now, inevitably, we're at a dog show, and when a dog wants to go, it wants to go. So if the inevitable happens, they're prepared. Now the Norwegian Buhuns are hardy dogs. They have a thick double coat consisting of a soft woolly undercoat and a top coat of harsher waterproof hair. Their coats need very little attention for most of the year, just a brush or a comb two or three times a week. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for one of our finalists, Abby Webb. Now here comes the turn of Robin Arnold. Robin is 16 and she's from Northampton. So Robin has just left the Dustin School and she's completed her GCSEs and she's hoping to get an apprenticeship in hairdressing. At home she has a Shiba Inu and two other Australian Shepherds and a rabbit. She also takes part in agility. And like most 16 year olds, she loves shopping and spending time with her friends. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Robin Arnold. And our fifth finalist is Min Withyman. She's from Winchester in Hampshire. She's 16 years old. And this morning she was handling a Rottweiler. She's currently at Peter Simons College in her first year. And at home, she's got three soft-coated Wheaton Terriers and a German Shepherd. She enjoys playing the guitar and piano, as well as collecting makeup, handbags and shoes. And currently in the breed rings across the championship show, she's campaigning a soft-coated Wheaton Terrier all the way from America. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Min Withyman. And our sixth and final competitor in this amazing final is Chloe McDonald. So this is Chloe McDonald. She's from Inverurie in Scotland. She's 16 years old. And this morning she handled a Hungarian Vizsla. She's still at school and is working part time at the dog groomers. At home she has an Akita and an Australian Shepherd. She really enjoys training her puppy to be a working dog. She also has seven Hungarian Vizslas at home. And her main hobby is a dog showing, hanging out with friends, and going to dog training every Monday and Wednesday night.
Ladies and gentlemen, be hands together for our final competitor. That's Chloe McDonald. So now we're going to ask all of our six finalists to please leave the ring. Starting with Georgia Brown. Come down to the organizer. Give them a big round of applause. They are going to leave the ring and return with their original breeder doll, which they were handling this morning. The overall winner today will go on to represent the UK in the International Junior Handling Finals at Crufts next March. So now we're ready to have these lovely handers return to the ring with their original breed. Starting with Georgia Brown with her Sharpe. Lauren Bridges with her soft-coated Wheaton Terrier. Please give them all a round of applause. It's Abby Webb with her Border Terrier. And now Robin Arnold with the Australian Shepherd. Next up, Min Withyman with the Rottweiler. And Chloe McDonald with the Hungarian Vizsla. So at this stage, it's getting very close to a decision, but I think we're going to see the dogs and the handlers move one more time. So starting with Georgia Brown handling her Sharpe. This is Toasty and she is two years old. Georgia is 17 and from Northamptonshire. Now we have Lauren Bridges. She's 10 years old and from Derby. Handling John, the soft-coated Wheaton Terrier, who's two years old. And now Abby Webb. She's from Southend in Essex. She's 14 and handling Rolo, the Border Terrier. And now Robin Arnold, 16 years old and from Northampton, handling Vogue, the Australian Shepherd, who's two years old. And now Min Withyman. She's from Winchester in Hampshire. She's 16 years old and handling Mabel the Rottweiler. And this is Chloe McDonald from Scotland in Inverary. She's 16 years old and handling three-year-old Geo. All these handlers will be placed from first to sixth, so they will go home with a prize today. Today's winner will win £250 in prize money, thanks to the JHA and Welsh Kennel Club, and the famous Hill Crony Cup, along with the Joe Cartledge Memorial Trophy. They will also take home the Stout Trophy. It's a big decision to make. These six finalists have put on an amazing performance, and it's really tough in a big environment like this. We are delighted to have his Royal Highness, the Prince Michael of Kent, to present the prizes. So, we're ready. The UK Junior Handler of the Year winner is...
it's Robin Arnold. Many congratulations to Robin. In second place, it's Lauren Bridges. In third place is Chloe McDonald. In fourth place is Min Withyman. In fifth place is Abby Webb. And in sixth place is Georgia Brown. Many congratulations to Robin Arnold. So can I ask now His Royal Highness Prince Michael of Kent who is president of the Kennel Club to come into the ring and present our wonderful prizes. He is escorted by Liz Hardledge and the chairman of the Kennel Club, Simon Luxmore. It is a great honor to have His Royal Highness Prince Michael of Kent here to present the prizes. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our winner, Robin Arnold. Robin is no stranger to winning the competition as she has been a former winner of this competition. So she's going to represent the UK again at Crufts next March. She was the handling of Vogue, the Australian Shepherd. And put your hands together for second place this year, runner-up junior hand of the year, 10-year-old Lauren Bridges. And in third place, all the way from Scotland, it's Chloe McDonald. And in fourth place, Lynn Withyman. Please show your support to all these fantastic handlers. Abby Webb with the Border Terrier. And finally, in sixth position is Georgia Brown with the Sharpay. I feel absolutely amazing. Like for the second time as well, it just makes it even better. Like to be able to win it twice is a real good achievement for me. So I'm really proud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Got down to the last ten last time out of 45, I think. Yeah. But so it's pressure again to do that again, really, <laughs> if not better. So. I've been absolutely buzzing all week about judging the competition. In fact, since I got the invitation, this is the highlight of the junior year. Um, and I know how much it means to the finalists um, and how hard they work to get here. So, uh, yeah, I've been super, was super excited about the competition. And, yeah, just being in there, it was absolutely buzzing the whole time. Do you feel honoured, really, to do it? Abs yeah, it's a massive honour to be asked to, to judge at this level. Um, and so, yeah, I, you know, it's such a privilege to, to uh, be able to judge such talented youngsters. Myself, I've been involved in dog showing for about 25 years. Started off at like eight years old. Um, I've got German Spitz, little fluffy dogs. And uh, yeah, um, we just started off at a little open show and, and then from there snowballed, um, made my first dog up into a champion and was well and truly bitten by the bug. For me, it's really important that a handler has a relationship with the dog that they're handling. So I'm looking for a really good rapport, really good understanding of the dog uh, and its needs. Um, yeah, and I'm looking for uh, the most natural handler that can present this dog to its absolute best. So is that every time I look, there's just that wee extra sparkle from, from that handler and dog that they are basically got the X factor. Robin just was um, stood out from the start. Uh, from the minute she entered the ring, um, her and her dog were just at one. Uh, their um, movement was absolutely spot on. They were just like poetry in motion. Um, with the swap dog, uh, she had a, a difficult swap dog that wasn't always cooperative. Um, she kept calm, didn't get flustered, just took her time, was very gentle and sympathetic towards the dog. Um, and yeah, our pattern work and everything that she did for me was just absolutely spot on.